Hi and welcome to Java NetBean of our student database management system. Okay guys, let me show you how this works. Now right here I have some data of uh, Sheila and uh, here we have the grades and so on. Okay, we have the date. These very dates can always be changed. Supposing we want to change the date to maybe let's assume we want to backdate it to Maybe in the 12, just select 12 and click on results. There we go. Okay, and if we go to the next tab here, we should be able to see the details of all other students. But unfortunately, the details of Sheila is not here for now. So, to get her detail on board, all we need to do is to click on add there record successfully added come right here and that's the details of Sheila so let's check out the database if our details is there it's not on the database however if we refresh we should be able to see Sheila's details right there in the database and that is all there is to it if you want you can always add more student details in there all you need to do is just click on reset there we go and enter the student ID whatever the student name is let's say the name is Max Molten an address of Molten number 13 Wills town. It's mail data bed two thousand. Okay, we have the details of maps and uh, the guidance. Okay, right here, let's select the course that Max is studying. Let's assume he's studying computer science, and those are the details for the course. He's a home student, and he is on scholarship. And let's assume it's the BSc final year. Okay, right in here we need to enter the subject, the models. So let's say C sharp. Enter a grade for C sharp. If you notice, we have three hundred plus there. So let's see what's going to happen. And let's assume Max is one of the smart students. So artificial intelligence. He just happens to be in the nineties. Object oriented. And now check out what's going to happen to where we have 300. If I click on this, you see the system refuses that. Okay, so we need to enter grades between 1 and 100 there. There. Recalculate. There we go. Max Moulton is a first class student. Alright, so let's check out the student details here. There we go. No max mult in there. Click on add now. Successfully added. And let's come straight to the database and click on refresh. Mark Moulton's details right there on the database. And there. Just for your information, guys, this is just an overview. I'll see you guys with a full tutorial shortly.